Alright guys, it's Simon Garrett here, uh, we're here with John Brown from Monuments. How's the tour going so far? Uh, it's gone pretty well, um, change has been cool, uh, we play pretty well, all the other bands are awesome. Good attendance? Uh, yeah, attendance has not been too bad actually, seeing how many tours are going on at the moment. Um, yeah, like the, the best show uh, so far has been probably Dublin and Leeds, all the shows have been pretty awesome, especially Eurobus Festival. Well, awesome too, so. uh, what's it like touring with the other bands? Uh, really cool actually, like obviously the Viljata guys, uh, just like, they like their, you know, they like getting stoned. <laughs> um, Jeff is a very bad influence on us all, and when it comes to drinking liquor, he likes to like, get us drinking whiskey and hooker and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, they're, everyone's fucking awesome, sorry about my language. Um, yeah, everyone's awesome. Um, and you know everyone's really easy to get on with. Um, like there's not really any bad blood on the bu on, on the tour bus, and everyone's just like really passive. You know, there's no anger, nothing. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, did you have a good time at the Euroblast Festival in Cologne? Yeah, it was really good. It was like uh, you know on the on the Friday I saw a band called Agent Fresco, which were probably one of the highlights of the weekend for me. They were just uh, absolutely phenomenal band. It's, it, to me, it sounded like Sigur Ross meets the Ninja Escape Plan in places. Uh, they played their songs really well, and yeah, wicked bands. After the burial, obviously, were awesome. All the bands were on tour with were awesome. Activists that opened on the Saturday were awesome. Uh, yeah, overall a really great weekend. Yeah. So what's your recording process at the minute and how do you basically write songs and then transfer them into a fully recorded final product? Okay, um, I've actually been doing this quite a lot with a lot of the students who've been teaching on the tour and explaining how you know you can take one riff and make it into multiple different variations. And um, what we tend to do is you know we tend to write a riff. So for example, if I just you know the, the riff from empty vessels tapping riff. Um, and you know, you, you, you try and like think how can I make this a little bit different and Swanee actually came up with this idea to make a lower version of it, like a riffy version, so. Exactly the same riff, but you know, you kind of used it in two different contexts, so. Um, when it comes to like recording and writing, uh, we try and like make variations of all our riffs, so you know, keep things interesting while keeping things the same. Almost thinking about it like in a pop thing, a pop structure, you know, you've got a verse, you've got a chorus, you've got a middle eight, but try and take that and try and like, you know, make two variations of the verse, so you know, keep people interested in what you're writing. Uh, in terms of recording process, I just sit there with my pod at home and, you know, Superior 2.0. Uh, I've got a bass, you know, just record it all down, mess around with things until it sounds how we want the final song to sound, basically. Pretty much standard for any, you know, like, it's what, basically what a producer would do, we're trying to cut out the producer, so.
guys, I'm just going to write down some of the riffs from 97% Static. Um, we'll start with the first riff of the song, um, which starts off by playing bass with guitar ringing out. But when the guitar comes in, it does something like this. Chorus riff of 97% static played a lot slower. Um, so here we go. 